Hello there gaming fans and welcome to DC Legends. Now DC Legends is a card, no I'll rephrase that, it is a hero battling game set in the DC Universe so it's basically all your superheroes from the DC Universe, well what's in the game anyway, um, taking part in battles uh, versus the enemy. Now this is a free to play game so we, we do have timers involved in this and also we have currency as well which is the form of the I suppose you call it gold currency as well we have two timers one is your energy and also one is PvP missions so without further ado I will take you and show you how this plays out okay this is my team I've got save for uh, Green Lantern, uh, Zanta, I think I pronounce it, Sento, uh, and Cheetah, I mean I can't pronounce them, the, the, the two of us. And I've also unlocked, I have got also Lex Leafa, I've just uh, inherited from the Inga mission. And to say, to swap out your team, you just case of drag down, like so, and then drag up, like so, there we go. So that's how we swap around our team members at the present moment. I think I will go back and keep them as our awesome present moment. So there we go. That's our team. So we can go back and let's take part in uh, one of the missions. Now you can see here we have got a few chapters. At present moment, I'm doing the Curse of the Black Lanterns. I've done chapter one, set one, on chapter one, so far, and have completed three percent. Then we have Invasion there, uh, which apparently is a physical live event. I have no idea that means. Um, so I don't know what that means at all because this is the thing about this game it is very very and I mean very light on any explanations of what you're going to what you need to do um, the hardly in tutorial really at all so I'm literally have had to sort of like fumble around with the game and try and understand how it works okay so let's try chapter one and here we are, this is the grid so far, what I've done. Here you can see where I've been going along the grid and um, and each stop since where I've actually done that particular mission. Now, the one thing I'm going to stress to you straight away is when you first start playing this game, do not do these red ones that you can see that are highlighted. Now these red ones are actually PvP uh, um, quests or missions, depending on what you want to call it. The game didn't tell you this. Now, depending on if you win or lose, doesn't matter which way. Uh, after you've after you've done this, and you want to say go to I don't know another mission, for example, war quest, whatever it is, the game will actually tell you you can't play for at least eight minutes because your team is too involved in the PvP. So you can imagine. There's me. I've just done one, two, three missions. That's and then did a PvP, and then told you can't play for eight minutes. Yeah, that is pretty piss poor to be honest, I'm afraid. And there was no warning by the game to say, look, once you take part, you're going to lose your two members for eight minutes. So unless, of course, you've got another four members you can use, you practically game it's practically the game stops for eight minutes. So, like I said, be advised, don't do the PvPs until you've got at least either eight uh, um, superheroes or you are going to say finish the game for the day and you have a PvP and then leave it alone until tomorrow morning when you come back to the game. You should say because otherwise for eight minutes you can't do nothing. Which is pretty piss poor to be honest. They could have at least warned us about that to say the least. Right, so onwards we should go. Let's do this one down here. Okay, so we see we have the levels that we can do. We can do heroic, super heroic, and legendary. At the present moment, I couldn't do heroic because I've only that's the first time I've done it. Um, we've got a, a, a potential stage boss, which is a manante, and also potential a, a potential reward as well. And now that as well, the rewards. Once again, the game doesn't actually explain to me what they are doing when you win them. Um, yeah, once again, it's very piss poor on the tutorial on well this is what this does okay so let's go and start I want to pull a pot for you at present moment okay but anyway this is where we have three man hunters ranger barbarian and overseer okay so now we have our team set up and ready to go now first of a green lantern now we can use three of these special skills at the bottom here we have uh, we can use our uh, use hammer we smash it down like that like so 
and then we've got the next character now each of these can do different things so for example here we can do here she can do fire projectile she can hear a, he, he, sorry she can use a stacked deck uh, power which will heal her team like so Next, we move on to the next one. Now we've got uh, Sinister. And once again, he has got three skills he can use from uh, Bone Source. Let's use Bone Source. That will attack all three. There we go. Okay, so we've got two left. Now, Cheetah here, she can. I'm going to boost my team using that skill there. So, the next turn around, they will now have a better attack. You can see now, Jordan, I can't use it as a ever ability. Now, so I'm going to use this one here. Um, now, this, you can see both are highlighted in red. Uh, the, if the way are either green or yellow, that means they will, he will do more damage. But as they are red, there's not much you can do, really. You only do a very basic attack. So let's select one character, and away we go. He punches away, and he kills him. Well, that's all right. Okay, so once again, we have our next character. Z10, Z Zetana, I think it's pronounced Zetana. Yeah, whatever, and let's go use her bill and that's that one done. So next now, wave two. Okay, so here we go. And let's use his ability there, which is the might. And he will attack all three at once. There we go. Okay, now we use cheetah. And let's try one of the yellow ones. That's, that's it. Smack him. Excellent, that's that done. And it's our turn again. Notice we also have fast forward and auto. So yes, you can literally sit here and just watch the game play itself. I just don't understand why these auto things are in these games, but you know beside the point today. So let's continue on. And ah, now see so you've got a green light green highlighted enemy, so that means you can do maximum damage on him. So and you nearly kills him. Next character. Just one left and that will probably remove him. Not quite, so one more power. And yep, there it goes. I think we're now on to way three. There we go. And this is how the game plays out, uh, folks. It's basically uh, using your special powers, taking the bad guys, and then going on to the next mission or quest or in, in the story. So far, I've uh, been doing okay, but of course, this is just uh, room chapter one. No doubt, as I get into the further levels, it will get a lot harder. This is just a first impression of what I've played of it so far. He uses a special rapid a bit and knock some more down. He uses Bussaw. Do some more damage. Maybe take him all out, so not quite. Uh, let's do Cheetah again on that one over there. One more. And I think we're done. Yep, one more. Uh, off Al Jordan. We should finish him off. Oh no, he's still going. Yeah, okay. Let's use the old magic wand. And that's got rid of him. And there we go, we are done. And woof, we disappear. And that's that mission complete. All part of the story. Okay, so see, we've won uh, some gold, XP, and also uh, experience points as well that we can use. So let's reveal the cards that we've got as well. And yeah, and there we see we've just leveled up. Excellent. Every time we do finish off a mission, or new missions available, we do have awards. In this case, we have some cards as well, which we can find out what they are. And that's an XP boost. Well, I don't know what the elements are actually for, because once again, the game doesn't actually say what the uh, what you do with them, or how you use them. So, yeah, it's very good that it doesn't actually explain to you what you do with them. You can see that, once again, I presume, is another element. Yep, you see defensive elements. And once again, um, the game doesn't actually tell us what you do with them. So, um, nope, I'm going to run out of cards to go back to base. And there you go. That's the game, really, folks. Um, here we have daily missions that we can take part in, as well as a story mission, which isn't, isn't highlighted at present moment. So, we're just doing daily missions. So, I'm guessing this game is on soft launch, but I aren't totally sure, to be honest, folks. But, yeah, that's the whole game, right? There is not much to see and do um, at present. Um, it is basically, let's say, a hero collecting battling game in the DC Universe. Uh, with some faults that I've come across, as you can see, it doesn't really explain what you're doing or what the elements that you win, you're supposed to use them. And, uh, um, 
Also, we say that we've got the PvP, and um, if you take part in that, then for eight minutes you can't play the game at all once they, once you've done the PvP. So that that's pretty poor. I would avoid them until at least you've got a fair sized team that you can use. Anyway, folks, that's my impressions of DC Legends. It looks a good game. Um, once I'm sure they got rid of the um, once they worked on it a little bit more, and maybe got rid, rid of some rough edges. It seems to be available now on the App Store. Possibly not in your area, might be only in New Zealand, but have a look and see what you think yourself. Okay folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye for now.